What is up guys, Doc Redstone here with another Minecraft video tutorial for you guys. This is episode 3 of Redstone 101. I apologize it's taken so long to get it out there. Uh, I've just been crazy busy. Uh, I also apologize if it's kind of noisy in the background. I got my AC on because it is hot outside. So anyway, on um, this episode it was requested that I show some tutorials or some designs and information about T flip flops and uh, monostable circuits. So we will go ahead and get started. Um, now this first T, uh, this is not a T flip flop. This is a monostable circuit, and uh, I'm glad they actually asked that I do monostable circuits and T flip flops at the same time because you can use any monostable circuit and turn it into a T flip flop. So anyway, what a monostable circuit does is emit a one tick pulse that basically causes a piston to push a block but not retract it or uh, retract a block and not push it so that is what that is um, anyway here is the first design that we've got and as you can see it pushes that block but it doesn't retract it and if we do this it retracts it and basically this works because there is a bug back in 1.7.3 where blocks were duplicated if they were hit with a monostable uh, pulse and so Mojang fixed it by causing the block not to be retracted um, so a bug actually turned into uh, got converted into a feature so uh, that's nice but uh, anyway basically what happens is I press this button right here and this torch uninverts and goes this way um, yeah uninverts or inverts I guess unpowers this line and turns this one on. Three ticks later, uh, this repowers it and causes it to turn back off. And so basically, it causes that torch to flash very quickly. Um, here's another example right here using a piston. And this one's pistonless and most of these actually require a piston. These first two are pistonless, these last one requires a piston. So anyway, this one uh, when you push it, the piston is or the block gets uh, power through it for one second, and then a tick later, the piston extends, causing it to uh, take that power away, and the piston gets uh, emitted a quick pulse. So there's that design, and then finally we have this one right here, and very easy design as well. Um, this world will be down available for download afterward as well, so if you want to know how to build any of these, uh, feel free to download the world. Now this one, um, as you can see, it pushes it up and then retracts it. And this is actually a dual edge detector. Um, these are all rising edge detectors, which means it activates on the button press. There are some that activate on the button unpress. Um, so basically when the button turns off, that's when it will activate. Um, and those are falling edge detectors. And this is rising and falling edge detector right here, hence why that happens. So this one is actually better controlled with the lever. And as you can see, it pushes up. And as soon as I untake the lever, it pulls down. Now over here, we have some T flip-flop designs. And you may be thinking, dear God, these are actually T flip-flops. Yes, they are. I was requested that some of them be pistonless T flip-flops. And uh, there's actually been quite an advancement in uh, t pistonless T flip flops uh, recently. I remember when I first started and pistons were just being implemented, I had to use uh, some huge uh, 20 by 20 designs for pistonless T flip flops. But now they're very tiny. Um, so here's this one and the output right here. And this one is courtesy of Cube Hamster. This was on his channel. Uh, so as you can see here, if I go ahead and press this, you can see the piston stays extended. And if I go ahead and unpress it, you can see the piston gets retracted. Um, that one has a bit more of delay on it. If you actually put it on this torch right over here, it's almost instant. So extend and retract. So this one has a delay. This one reacts quicker. Um, this one basically works because these six blocks right here are an RS NOR latch. Uh, pretty basic, pretty simple. I talked about them in the last video. And it relies on the property that a torch can only be inverted if it's powered. So as you can see right now, this one can't be inverted. It's already inverted. So this one will get inverted. And if this one gets um, inverted, this one's powered. So you can't invert something that's inverted. 
so it inverts the powered one. Um, I know that was kind of a mumble, but um, anyway. So it's very silent, and the only thing you hear is the button pressing, which is actually quite nice. Um, if you're doing a secret base or something, and you don't want somebody to know that they've hit a T flip flop. This one is another silent uh, piston list T flip flop. This block right here is brick, so you can see that wire down there from above. Um, and if I press this right here, you can see this wire turns off. So let's hook up piston like so. So as you can see, piston's powered. Hit it again, piston's unpowered. Um, so anyway, this one relies on a NAND gate in order to activate a RS NOR latch. Um, I'm not going to get into it too much because this one is actually, I mean, it's not complex, but it's confusing. So use it, don't use it. <laughs> um, now here's the more common ones. Here is a piston, T flip flop, just like so. And here is another piston T flip flop. Once again, this is brick. And this one is using an RS nor or a uh, monostable circuit in order to power this piston in order to cause it to pull back or push the block. So as you can see, um, when power goes in here, this repeater pushes power to this block and this block underneath. This torch uninverts allowing this torch to become on. Three ticks later, this pa gets powered again and causes the torch to turn off and causing a monostable pulse. And then the output could be right here, as you can see, and if we press it again, it pushes it out. So anyway, that's just some basics on uh, Redstone 101 once again, some intermediate stuff on monostable circuits and uh, piston T flip flops and piston less T flip flops. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. This has been Doc Redstone. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks guys. Peace out.